Well, if your smartphone does not have camera to API enabled, but you still want to use Google camera in your Android device, then this video is going to be super useful for you. What's up guys, Mr. Android here. In this video, I will be showing you how you can download and install Google camera go in your Android device. Basically, it's a lighter version of Gcam, which Google has recently launched for all the mid-range devices and also for the devices that does not have camera to API enabled. With that being said, the likes target for this video is 1000 likes. I know you guys will do it. So drop a like and let's get started. Alright guys, I am using Samsung Galaxy A50 in this video. Well, it's a mid-range device from Samsung which does not have camera to API enabled and it has an Exynos processor. With that said, it is very difficult for me to find a working Google camera for this device. Guys, if you are using Galaxy A50 or any Android device which does not have a Snapdragon processor, all you have to do is head over to this video description and there you will find a direct link where you can download and install Google Camera Go for your Android device. No matter which device you are using, whether it's a flagship device or a mid-range device with a non-Snapdragon processor, well, it will definitely work in your smartphone. I am already using it on my Samsung Galaxy A50. Opening the application, you will have this kind of interface. Below, you will get the option to take photos, shoot videos. It also has a translate mode, which you can use to translate anything by using this camera. Guys, even it has a portrait mode, which works fine and you can take some very good pictures using this mode. Other than this, it also has some very useful features like face enhance, which enhance your face while taking pictures and also you can enable HDR mode to take some high quality pictures. Now coming back to the main interface, on the top you can check how many photos that you can take based on your device storage. Overall, it has all the basic features that works quite well. Guys, to be honest, you will not find all the features that you get in the full-fledged Google camera version. But still it has some very useful features like portrait and HDR mode which helps you to take some very good pictures. So that's pretty much it guys. If you are not able to use the Google camera in your device then go ahead and install this Google camera go which works perfectly fine in every smartphone. And if you really want me to make a comparison video between the stock camera and Google camera application then let me know in the comment section I will definitely try to make it. So that's pretty much it guys. If you guys like this video then be sure to hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I am Mr. Android and I will see you guys in the next one.